please subscribe mad.com and don't forget to hit the bell icon for new video notification hello everyone our today's topic is the minor and cofactor of an aliment in metals this is a very important topic as uh, in uh, matrices we came across the concept of minor and cofactor and sometimes we get confused about this concept uh, uh, about uh, how they differ from each other what are these what are the minor what is minor and what is cofactor how to find the minor and cofactor and how it helps in, in, in the matrices so at the end of this lecture you will be able to easily define the minor and cofactor uh, the difference between the minor and cofactor and how to find the minor and cofactor so first of all you start with the minor of the matrix minor is defined as and minor of an element in a matrix is defined as the determinant obtained by deleting the row and column in which that element lies now don't get confused about or don't get uh, worried about this definition as i'll explain you in such a manner that you will just forget about the definition and you will have a grip on the concept so minor of an element in, in a matrix is defined as the determinant of things by deleting the remaining column in which that element lies so keep this in mind that minor and cofactor concept is um, helpful uh, uh, is helpful or you will see this concept when the order of a matrix is equal to 3 or greater than 3 the order should be n should be greater than and equal to 3 it means the order of the matrix should be greater than and equal to 3 when you will uh, then you have to use the uh, minor and uh, cofactor of an element uh, to find the determinant to find the determinant of a matrix but we are not going to find the determinant of a matrix here we are just going to discuss the concept of minor and cofactor and what is minor what is cofactor how to find the minor and how to find the cofactor so we'll start with the uh, example with the general example uh, in which we are not taking the value we are just writing the, the general matrix as this is a matrix you will be asked to find the minor of this matrix then how you will find it? so by keeping in mind the definition as well we can find the um, the minor of this matrix as we can we, we can represent it uh, represent the minor by uh, you will be asked to find the minor of the element keep this in mind that we will find the minor of an element in the matrix uh, so uh, when you will be asked to find the minor of, of the uh, of the element then you have to choose the element of which you are um, of which minor you are going to find so m is for minor so we'll write m then i'll write i j m i j m is for minor and i j is basically the row and column in which that element lies so if i label it as this is the row and this is the column so we are going to find the minor of a specific element in the matrix so it depends that which element we are going to find on i and j so we can say that if i take this element ij represents the location of this element so we, i must say that it's equal to m11 it means this element is at for is in the first row and first column so we will write m11 and it will be equal to what let's move to the definition then minor of an element now here we have choose the element m11 that the element at the location m11 that is this element a of is defined as the determinant obtained by deleting the row and column in which that element lies so if first we will see in which row and which column this element lies this element is lying in first row and first column so we have uh, uh, determined the row and column and next step is to do is to delete that row and column so we have deleted this row and column and we just consider that this row and column ex doesn't exist in this matrix and then what we have to do we have to take the determinant as i have written in definition it is the determinant obtained by deleting the row and column and determinant of what determinant of the remaining matrix element remaining elements of the matrix so this the determinant of this matrix so what i have to write i have to write e h f i so this will be the remaining elements and the minor will be minor of the element at position 1 1 will be the same as we found by by multiplying the diagonal and subtracting them as e i minus f h so this is the minor of the element a similarly we can find the minor of the 
other elements like if i say i have to find the minor of the element of this position that is m 1 2 that is in first row and second column what i have to do i have to first determine the that row and column it means it lies in this column and in this row now i have to delete this column and this row and i have to consider the rest of the elements so what are the rest of the elements rest of the elements are this b f g and i i will write b f g and i it will be equals to b i minus f g so this will be the minor of the element at location 1 to that is the second in the second column in the first row similarly we can find the minor of the third ele third element in the row uh, in the row it will be in the third row in the, it will be in the first row and third column so what i have to do is again i have to first spot the row and column so i can spot it as this is the column and this is the row so i have to delete this row and column and i have to consider the rest of the elements so the rest of the elements are b e g h and what is um, uh, what it will be the minor of the element c minor will be b h minus e g so this is how you can find the minor of any element in the um, uh, given matrix Uh, by uh, first uh, by by uh, first uh, locating the row and column of that element then deleting them and then considering the rest of the elements and finding the determinant so this is the uh, or this is all about the minor and keep this in mind that minor is useful while finding the determinant and the inverse of a matrix and uh, 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 so uh, mainly it uh, it helps you to find the determinant of the matrices that are of order greater than 3 greater or than or equal to 3 then we have to move towards the uh, to the uh, cofactor that what is and keep this in mind that uh, whenever we find the determinant of a matrix we just need to consider one row so we usually find the minor of one row so either it's first row or second row or third row so so we need not to consider we not we need not to find the minor of the all the rows so this is how you can find the minor now we move towards the cofactor let's see how it differs from the minor how to find the the minor and how it helps in finding the determinant so cofactor is defined as the signed minor it means if once you find the minor you just need to put the negative or positive sign with the value it means magnitude will be the same as that of the minor but the sign will change so how it is related to the minor let's write its formula there is a formula c is for cofactor i j is for row and column of which cofactor we will we are going to find equals to minus 1 raised to power i plus plus j into m i j so this is how the cofactor relates to the minor it means cofactor will have the same magnitude and or the value as that of minor just the sign will change and what will be a sign it will depend on the value of this power it means it will depend on the value that in which row and column that element lies so let's see how you can determine it if i take the same element a and if i consider the same matrix as a this is a matrix and i have to find the cofactor of, of the element a in this matrix then what i have to do I have to follow the same formula as written above. What to do is just I need to check what will be the sign with the uh, uh, minor. So if I take this element, I have to cofactor. It means C one one as this element is at first row and first column equals to minus one power one plus one, and M I J is M one one. It means I have to find the minor of M one one. so i'll take the value of minor from here as i have already found here so i'll put ju just put it here as c11 is equal to minus 1 power 2 is 1 as minus 1 square is 1 so it will remain 1 so it will have positive sign and m11 is ei minus fa so this is the cofactor of the element 
now it is clear here that the magnitude of the cofactor remains same just we need to check the sign here so if the sign depends on the power that is when we sum the row and column the but if we get the power even the sign will be positive and if we get the power odd the sign will be negative so similarly we may find the rest as c12 is equals to minus 1 raised to power 1 plus 2 m 1 2 so it will be equals to minus 1 raised to power 3 is minus 1 because we have odd power so we will remain have minus 1 here and m 1 2 is this one that we have found earlier that is the minor of the element b so we will get is what we will get is d i minus f g so again it is clear here that the magnitude or the value remains same but the sign has changed so this is how the cofactor differs from the minor similarly similarly for c13 we just need to look at the sum of these values that is if it's even you will have positive sign and if it's uh, if it's odd then you will have negative sign so i'll write minus 1 raised to power 1 plus 3 m13 that will be equals to m13 is similar to this one and we just need to check the uh, sign the sign will be plus here because 1 plus 3 is 4 4 is even so we just need to write plus here and what we'll get is dh minus e g so it will it, 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 it is same so if it is clear from the definition and uh, by finding it by uh, by uh, working on it that cofactor is the signed minor it means cofactor will have a sign otherwise it is the same as that of minor so minor and cofactor will be helpful in finding the determinant you will see in my next lecture that how to find the determinant by using minor and cofactor of a matrix that is of the order greater than equal to 3 and how they will form a formula for finding the determinant in the next lecture. Currently, you just know what is minor and what is cofactor. That's all from today's lecture. Thank you.